This is the plaintiff, Anne. She says she was hired to style the defendant's office and bedroom. And after she was 95% done, the defendant told her not to come back because she hired someone else to finish the job. The woman still owes her $250, and that's just what she's suing for in this courtroom today. This is the defendant, Stephanie. She says the woman botched up her bedroom. It looked like a blind person did the painting, and she had to hire someone else to repair her paint splattered and streaked walls. Over another 250 bucks? No way. She's accused of ending things. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $610, the amount she paid to fix the plaintiff's botched job. All parties, please raise your right hand. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Leon's on presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay. The Voluptuary LLC, represented by Dr. Ann? Yes. Okay. You are suing Stephanie and Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 Okay. Um, it's really, she's suing, suing me for... Okay. For my bedroom area. She's for your bedroom area. You have a counterclaim yes. against her that includes well, something that has to do with the office. Right. Let's talk to you first. What happened? Um, good afternoon, Your Honor. So I met the defendant through a friend of mine, Jennifer, who is her business partner, um, who brought me in to style their office space. Okay. What kind of office do you guys run? Mental health therapy. Okay. And so when the defendant saw the work I was doing, she asked, oh, like, you know, would you be able to do my bedroom? And I said, you know, I said, okay, um, it's going to be a little bit, you know, tight on time, but I will do my best. And so essentially the defendant went through the same exact process that I did in styling the office space. Okay. How much did you charge to style the office space? 500. And how much were you charging her for her bedroom? 500. Okay. So go on. And so we the went... The 500 is just your services, right? Like... Correct. It's whatever, uh, anything else she has to pay for, anything new you buy that she picks out or whatever. Correct. Exactly. Okay. It's now, just for the let, labor. Now, let me understand, how are you a doctor? Oh, I have a PhD in education. A PhD in education. Yes. Got it. And then how long have you been doing this kind of work? Um, I've been doing this work, I would say professionally for about a year. Informally, I've been doing it for over 10. I've always painted all of my own homes, all of my apartments. I've helped family members source and style their furniture right. and style their homes like free of charge, but okay. professionally so, year. So this is, uh, you've decided you don't no longer want to work in education? Oh no, I, I work in education oh, as well. Oh you do, so this I'm is in, like a side gig. Yeah, exactly. And you don't need a license to do that in your state? Um, no. No, okay. No. Um, well, most states don't, but in any event. So now you agree to do her bedroom, and what, what is the plan on the bedroom? What's it gonna, what's the theme or what's going on? Yeah, so we did, um, a, I create a mood board, which goes over, you know, the style of the room, the color palette, the design choice, and we went with a Moroccan theme, Moroccan romance. Her bedroom at the time was gray, and she said she wanted it to be warm, she wanted it to be, you know, feel cozy, not cold, not sterile. So, you know, I presented her with the mood board. We did that call over Zoom. Is this the mood board? That is the mood board. Okay. So what color does she end up picking? Um, so she ended up going with a deep red as well on as the, the walls. On the walls, yep. We did a few we did a few colors. But she on the, picked the color, right? Yes. Every, okay. Everything that was done was in consort with her. It was not a surprise. It was not anything. She did mention to me that she wanted to surprise her fiance at the time. And I said, are you sure? Um, because I typically consult everyone who's gonna be in the space. Even yeah. the office space, her business partner was the person that I knew. And I let my friend know, I said, you know, you're sharing this office space. Both of you have to be in the consultation. Because right. as a professional, you shouldn't just Right. work with one so, person. And she said, no, 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 I want it to be a surprise. That's what she said. Okay. And, um, well, and this was her new husband? Is this your first husband? Yes. And you knew what takes the rest of us like 20 years to figure out that it's better to just leave him out of it entirely? <laughs> Good for you, girl! <laughs> she approved the mood board, she liked the theme, and so essentially I created a spreadsheet that had all the items that she could buy to update the furniture. It included bedroom, nightstand, um, sconces to put on the wall next to the bed, 
Um, and so basically, yeah, she from every from every phase, what I will say is that she had to approve everything. All right, so she wanted it done as a surprise for when she came back from the honeymoon? From the wedding. From the wedding? Yes. Did you guarantee to her that you would be done then? I did not. And in the in fact, you specifically state in a text that it's your son's birthday and that may be really tough. And she says, okay. Exactly. Try. All right. And Everybody's even the, on the same page. And then what happens? Um, so the first day I went to start putting up the paint on the walls was April 19th. Um, and then I went back the day after my son's birthday party. I arrived at her house at 9.30 p.m. and I stayed until 3, like a little bit after 3 in the morning, just to make sure the whole paint job was finished. However, even when I started the job, the bedroom was in the middle of the room. It was the, never her the bedroom. bedroom. set? Her bed. She didn't remove it out of the room? No. Did you ever tell her to remove it? I did. I did. And I you knew You told it her you need to remove the bed? I did. I said, I do need the room free and clear. However, I was, you know, I was trying to work around with the time constraint. And I started the job anyway. And I know that that was my mistake because I shouldn't have. Because people that style, if they don't have the space free and clear, they typically won't even begin. Because that's a liability on you if you damage something or something goes wrong. Exactly. So in any event, you paint and you do, how much work do you get done? I got 95% of that work. No, done. I don't want you to guess. I want to decide if it's 95%. So tell me exactly what you got done. You painted? Oh yeah, I painted everything. I was able to get, there was a patch of the ceiling I couldn't get to because the bed was there. But I did paint the ceiling, I painted all the walls, I painted the fireplace. Um, there was a, a remote uh, electrical fireplace that she didn't like and I painted that as well to match the theme. I bought pillows, I bought curtains, I bought So curtain your rods. design fee also includes you painting? Yes, it includes the, cert the labor and the services. So it includes the shopping, finding, sourcing the furniture. How do you make money if you're only charging $500? I mean, I, listen. Who is that? <laughs> that's, uh, no, listen, I, I wanted, I was trying to be. Build your business? I was trying to build my portfolio, number one. Yeah. Number two, this is, a, this is somebody that came from a friend of mine. And so mm. I, I learned my lesson. It's, well, but it's her. one thing to design. It's, it was already cheap just at designing, but you're painting. Like, you know, that's. Yeah. Really? All right. So in any event, what was left to do? What was left to do was to touch up and finish the ceiling. And if there was anything in terms of Clean you know, up. cleaning up and also assembling anything, because my partner was actually going to come with me the last day to finish. Because it was, you know, he saw how much work I was doing going up and down. And he was like, if you had an extra set of hands, it would help you. So we were trying to figure out, OK, like, if it's just to finish, like, I'll help you go finish. Um, and that Monday, April 25th, I did message that to her. I said, you know, my partner wants to come help. We would really like to come on the weekend. Let me know if that's okay. And we'll, t you know, just let me know if that's fine. And she goes, um, you know, I can't have my house in disarray. Um, I thought it would be done by now. So what I did was I hired somebody to come when and finish. When did you hire somebody to come in there? Basically, like the next day or two, I, I had my contractor come in and take a look at it. And after he looked, took a look at it, the following day after that, he started. Why didn't you just give her a chance to come back and make it, you know, finish up? Because she, she told you she wasn't finished. Okay, so, so she did say that, that she was done with all, all the trimming and she just has to clean up. So when I saw the work that was done, when my, my husband saw it first because he came a day before me, and he, he called me, he was like, oh my God, like this, this, the paint job is like atrocious. Okay. And so I came home the following day and I saw like all the trimming, it was, it was completely off. It wasn't painted correctly. And she was saying that she completed the trimming. Okay, let's look at pictures that prove what you're saying. Do you have pictures to prove what you're saying? Yes, I do. Okay. So what is the, uh, she had said there was a portion of the ceiling that she couldn't get to because the bed was right on top of it. Correct. Right. And you know she had asked for you to take stuff out. So that, that is not something for you to complain about. This is a problem because somebody has to move that bed. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, what, so this picture doesn't show me something she did wrong, does it? No, it's, it's just showing okay. that the work is incomplete. Still. Well, yeah, she, so, but, but right. she's been very clear that she right. wasn't complete. But show me what she said was complete and wasn't. Okay, so this should Because be... I got to make sure it's not that your husband... Who's the husband? I got to make sure that it's not that your husband said, what you doing here? Yeah. I don't like this Moroccan theme. <laughs> because did you repaint this? Did I? No, it's still the same, same colors, but the contract I had to... There were streaks. It wasn't painted correctly. Okay. But that's stuff that can be repaired, right? I mean, you mm -hmm. can, listen, it's your bedroom. If you want to make the decision to hire a contractor, you can. But mm -hmm. I have to make the decision on whether she breached a contract or you 
precipitously breached the contract by saying, no, don't even come back. I don't even want you back. Mm -hmm. So, all right, uh, what does this show? Right, so all in all the edges on the corners of all around the bedroom were still like incomplete as if like normally you would put tape to have have it painted correctly. A everything. clean edge. Yeah, none, right. of the, none of the edges were clean. Right, but these, these are things that, you know, you come in and you have a punch list for the contractor or the painter and you say, you, you know, you need to, I can't accept it like that. You gotta, you gotta clean that edge up and then they clean that edge up, right? Right, and then at one point you see my recess lights were also painted as well. Okay, these are your recess lights in your bedroom? Yes. Okay, yeah. She painted the outside of them, which you shouldn't have done. You should have disconnected the light. Correct. Yeah, why did you, or put tape on it. Why did you do it this way? Correct. I mean, I have them, and I was actually going to suggest when I came back to replace the recess light covers, because it's just the cover. It's not yeah. the actual lighting. Right. And you can change them, and you can change them to have whatever color you want. Yeah, to I wouldn't reflect. have painted it. I would have, and, and, you know, and obviously that yeah. needs, that needs to be, you know, painted better or whatever it needs to be. But, you know, she never, she told you she didn't finish. So what is this? Well, my, my socket, she painted over the sockets. Yeah. Um, is this a certain kind, what is, what am I looking at here? And so maybe because you can't really see it clearly, but it was streaks and uh, it, it wasn't properly painted. Like, like I said, she said she painted everything, everything was done. Is this a solid color or is this? So that is actually a metallic paint. Yeah. It's a copper paint and the way you apply it, you do have to wait. So we have, you have to apply it, it has to dry, you have to come back, it has to dry. So what I let her know is, I had intentions to come back. It wasn't, right. it wasn't that, and you know, honestly, you know, when people talk about unprofessionalism, like as a professional person, I've never had that attributed to any, anything that I do. And I just think that it's, that's incorrect. So what did she say to you? Um, she basically, I mean, when, she, when I called, um, she said she's gonna give me $100 because she hired somebody else to come in at 150. And I was really upset, but I didn't want to get into a back and forth exchange because I just felt like it wanted why he wasn't going to go anywhere because she probably had made up her mind already. And I was willing to see if she would at least send the hundred dollars. And she never sent the hundred that she said she was going to send. And when I sent an email asking for it, you know, and I actually copied her business partner on it. And I did that because you sent an email asking for what? Oh, for the for the remainder of the balance. The two fifty, not the, the hundred. The two fifty, yeah. right? And then I had said, you know, I still didn't get I didn't even get the other amount that right. you know you said. And you why didn't send. you send the other amount? Because at the time, because she was like harassing me basically. She sent me a couple of emails and she's basically saying, Well, listen, um, send she me. She never my, accepted send me my, the offer send, of a hundred. Yeah, send me my two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like she was adamant about that. All right. So now you have a counterclaim against her for six hundred and ten dollars, four hundred and seventy of it. Money's paid to paint bedroom. Now, according to her, you had told her you paid somebody 150. So how is it that now you paid 350? Because I didn't realize how much more it was going to be because I was just going off of whatever balance. Because I said, okay, I'll give you the $100 and then whatever 150 balance, I'll just pay that, like thinking that. Why, but why would you decide her. how much you were going to deduct from the 250 without knowing how much the paint job would be? Yeah, you're right. Because honestly, I, I was I was trying to be. I didn't want to cause any problems because I know her and my partner that I share office space. They were friends, so I was like, let me just give her something so that way I don't cause any type of drama. But it still happened. Well, yeah, because legally you have to give her an opportunity to finish the job. No one told you the job was finished. You know. Um, now. Uh, the, you're also suing for an office wall. Tell me about that. So in the office, she put sheets on the wall that... Um, fabric? Guess, yeah, like, yeah, fabric sheets with, um, I don't know if she used starch or something on the wall, but they were, it was uneven. It was starting to, to peel off. So I had to basically take it off and have that wall repainted because it was stained and it was, it was horribly When dark. did that happen? This all happened simultaneously. This was around because I was away for my, for my wedding during that time. So she was doing both the bedroom and the office around the same time. And I have video okay. of the Okay, this is the office? office? Yes. So this, uh, this is the office. And these yeah. are what? These are fabrics? Yeah, I believe like sheets or something. Okay, and then you're saying these fell off? Yeah, they, it was it stained the wall and it was uneven, so it wasn't even hanging on correctly. Do, did you ever tell her, hey, this is uneven, we don't like what you did and I want our money back? No, no, I did not because I okay. didn't see it fully. Okay. Yeah, I'm not loving this whole fabric thing. Um, but 
you know, I didn't pick it, you, you picked it. Um, so how much did it cost to put the fabric up? Um, I charged them, like I said, 500 for the labor. Was the whole des design, including all of your labor. Mm -hmm. So how much did the fabric itself cost? Um, I believe the fabric altogether was probably $60. I would have to check the receipts, but they okay. did, I did have the itemized receipts for it. Right, why would she ever reimburse you for changing your mind and deciding you wanted to paint it instead? Well, like I said, that's because the wall end up a few. Right like now, I need you to prove what you're saying. She damaged the wall. I see fabric that, you know, I I, I don't love how it's uneven and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's what you guys picked out. It didn't work. Whatever. Okay, I get it. Or you want her to fix it. Listen, I want this to be really sleek. Put a trim. Do something. I don't like how this looks. That would be okay. But instead, you take it off and you tell me, trust me, Judge, the wall is damaged, but you haven't taken a single picture. Of all the pictures and videos, there's not a single picture of wall damage? No, okay. Right. All right, so, and your counterclaim is for $610, $120 for wall damage that we just talked about, $350 that you say you paid to someone else. Do you have a receipt for that, the $350? Um, I have an invoice that... And then 140 to replace and install four recessed lights. Isn't it just the outside of it that's the problem? Well, I had my contractor come and do that stuff for me, so I don't understand. I don't know, like, how exactly okay. it works. Did he actually charge you $140? Yeah. And then what's your answer to the painting of the... Mo of the? Yeah, no, I can admit that, you know, I probably shouldn't have done it. However, I've worked with that paint before, and you can't, because of the material of the cover, you can take it off. How? By um, taking a nail and spending... Two hours going like this or more? I mean, you, Two you, hours <laughs> was not nearly enough. On Amazon, they have the covers and they're $3.25 each. Right. And so if I was, you know, had I been given the chance to go back and see what was there. Now she makes a point there because if you tell her, what is this? Why did you paint over it? I didn't tell you to paint over it. I want my trim to look like trim. You know, she would have gone, she would have undone the bulb, she would have put in the new housing, because those are clips, that's nothing, I've done that before. But, and then she would have put the bulb back in. You ended up paying somebody, according to this, $140 to do it. Mm -hmm. But why would she have to reimburse that exorbitant amount? It's not like the guy did electrical work. But, but even so, if I had the opportunity to have that conversation. Do you have proof of payment, like other than this piece of paper that, like, do you have an actual original invoice or anything? Um, do you yeah. have the check that you paid the contractor? No, I actually paid by cash, Okay. So. All right. Um, what do I do with the fact that you never gave her a chance to come in and cure anything that you were complaining about, that you kind of jumped the gun? That's where my problem lies. So I'm gonna order you to pay the 250 that you owe her, and on your counterclaim against her, um, you know, if you had given her a chance to come back in, you know, she would have made all that right. Do you think someone who charges $500 for their services and spends days and days and days picking out stuff for you that she's not, she's, she's a budding businesswoman who wants to do this and get clients and get referrals. You think she wouldn't have changed the lights um, at her cost? You think she wouldn't have, you know, um, it just, you needed to have given her a chance to finish. I'm uh, ordering you to pay her the $250 and on your counterclaim, zero. So the plaintiff is convinced the judge she deserves to get the rest of her money and uh, the judge has awarded her the $250 she sued for. The defendant gets nothing for her countersuit. Uh, Stephanie, let me ask you, what do you think about what the judge had to say? You don't get anything for your countersuit. Um, I'm not really happy about it, but at the same time, this is a learning lesson basically to really vet out who you're hiring and look at the work that they've done prior to. I, I have to ask you, what was your first reaction when you went in and saw the, the apartment, the room? I was actually upset because it, it looked like a unfinished job that would have taken more time to complete. That's kind of a mild reaction. I thought you were gonna say you were horrified. <laughs> well, I, I really was, <laughs> <laughs> really was. All right, I can understand that. I can definitely understand it. Listen, I'm sorry, but uh, the judge has made her decision. You're going to have to live with it, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Um, we're going to talk to Ann now, who has prevailed. She's going to get the $250 back. Ann, tell me, what's your reaction? You know, I'm just happy that justice was served. You know, I think as a professional, I treat people professionally, and she had all the pictures, all the status updates in real time. I was communicative. And at the final hour to just say, you know, forget it, like that's just actually not how business actually works, so. 
You you must admit though, it it does look like it was there was a lot left to still be done. I mean, I think the fact that I pulled two 12 and a half hour days, I mean, I didn't say I was done. And I think that there were some things to update. However, you know, when you're styling a space, you do need the space to be free and clear. And I was gracious enough to start knowing that. And I still got a lot of the head work done. And so, you know, I think any professional always wants a chance to finish their work so they can have, you know, final images and things for their portfolio. And I didn't get that. But, you know, I'm just happy that my time, talent and energy doesn't go for naught and that I did get, you know, the, 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 um, the payment rendered to me. All right. Very good. Well, congratulations. You have prevailed. Good thing you sued. <laughs> Thank so you. So that'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for your presence here and, uh, and good luck to you. Thank okay? you so much. You're welcome. All right, Harvey. So, Doug, there's a principle in the law that if you hire somebody to do work and they mess up here and there, you do have to give them an opportunity to fix it before you can turn around and sue for whatever. Uh, you can't just hire somebody else if it's a reasonable amount that they have to correct. If it's way, way beyond reasonable, that's another issue. But if it's reasonable, you got to give them an opportunity to come back and fix the problem. Are the two of you planning on renewing your wedding vows? <laughs> Are we going to renew our wedding vows? I don't know. Yeah, I really thought about that, Marilyn. I thought about I, uh, that. <laughs> uh, do I have some time to opt in or opt out? Opt in, yeah, you have, you well, have the 30-year rule exactly. is coming up where you, you know, can say, nah, yeah, you know. You know, I did... Um, handle your parents renewal of their wedding vows on their 50th 50 years right 50th right and it's just unimaginable that we're coming up to 30 yeah and i'm like oh my god only old people are married that long <laughs> <laughs> that's us that's right us. <laughs> oh my god so um yeah we haven't even our that's coming up in like three or three months four months or something I need to renew we have, yeah, I mean, that's very sweet and everything how about, but... we haven't even planned a trip Anything. Oh, about Dinner. that. Dinner. Nothing. About, about that. Yeah. Yeah. We're 30th wedding anniversary. We're going on a safari. We are? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You're I, taking me on a safari. I'm sorry. Oh. I forgot to tell oh, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Like a pinball safari? No. Where you go to no, different areas no, where there's no, pinball? No. No? Okay. A real African safari. Yes. Okay. Do I have to get shots? Yes. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Hope you fun. Yeah.